welcome to this presentation for GCSE English Language and English Literature. Hopefully by the end of this presentation, any questions you've got about these core subjects will be answered. So how is the course structured? Well, first of all, English Language and English Literature are separate GCSEs. So at the end of Year 11, you'll have two GCSE qualifications in English. Starting with English Language, the course is structured into two exams, both worth 50%. There's also a spoken language exam which makes up the qualification. In terms of the reading you'll cover over the course of the English language qualification, you'll encounter a range of fiction texts from the 20th and 21st century, and those will cover a range of styles and genres. You'll also read a wide range of non-fiction texts, and they can come from the 19th century right up to today, the 21st century. And that will include newspaper articles, speeches, journals, letters and essays. The writing that you will explore and create will be narrative and descriptive writing, but also viewpoint writing, so presenting your opinion on a particular topic. For your spoken language exam, you'll deliver a short presentation on a topic of your choice, followed by a group question and answer session. Here are some examples of the writing tasks that you might be asked to complete for English language. And on the right hand side, here are some examples of spoken language topics that students have delivered over the last couple of years. The English Literature course is also structured into two exams. The first exam covers your study of a Shakespeare play and a 19th century novel. Along the bottom there are some of the examples of text we've studied with our GCSE students over the last few years. So you might be studying Macbeth or Romeo and Juliet as your Shakespeare text, and you might cover A Christmas Carol, Jekyll and Hyde or Frankenstein as your 19th century novel. The second exam for GCSE English Literature covers a modern text and poetry. Our students often study the play An Inspector Calls and sometimes the novel Lord of the Flies, and all of our students study the power and conflict cluster of poetry in the GCSE anthology. So what skills will you need to succeed in English language and literature? First and foremost, you'll need to have an imagination and creativity. That's in your own writing, but also in your responses to the writing of others. You'll need to have a close attention to detail and be able to focus on a text and pick out interesting details or patterns. You'll need critical thinking skills. You'll need to be able to evaluate what you've read, to think about the strengths and weaknesses of an argument, for example or how a poet explores an idea across a poem. Like any subject that's only assessed by exam, you'll need to have good time management skills. Your class teacher will help you with this by giving you lots of practice. And finally, you'll need an opinion. You'll need to have an opinion about what you read and you'll need to be able to express that opinion in class discussions. Where can GCSE English Language and English Literature take you? Well, many of our students go on to study either or both English language and English literature at A-level, and Richmond School and Sixth Form College offers both. English is also good preparation for A-levels in Media Studies or the CTEC Performing Arts qualification. Sixth Form life for an English student can be very interesting. So on the left there, we have some examples of students who've gone to the Villiers Park programme, and on the right, is an image from our trip to the Globe Theatre to see the play Othello. Finally, here are some of the areas of careers that you could go into if you study English language or literature at A-level. Students can go into journalism, careers in the media and creative arts industries, education, law and publishing. And I've included there some images of alumni, students who have studied a-level English at Richmond School and have gone on to careers in publishing and have gone on to have their own novels published. 